when you're uh, recording here, big boy. I'm recording. <laughs> God damn it. Boys, we did not hit the like goal. I am disappointed in every one of you. Oh my God. Come on, boys. You got just You were off by what? 180 piece of shit, man. Rakesy and me were just talking about how we're disbanding the podcast tomorrow, <laughs> dude. It's over. You've all failed us. Uh, <laughs> do you guys want to jump in? You're not even going to say hi? You don't even no, introduce uh, the people. Do I was going to be bad cop, good cop, people. and now I'm just roasting our audience uh, for 10 yeah. seconds. Come on, boys. Yeah, no, guys, no. you know, very, very, <laughs> just demor bad cop, bad cop. very demoralizing. Like, to be honest with you, to say that we're angry would just be inaccurate. Um, but disappointed, I'd say that's fair. Yeah, very disappointed. We're have to talk to your parents. Um, very disappointed. <laughs> but, but for real, 300 likes in the last video was insane. Yeah. Um, and if you guys didn't see last time, if we do it 500 likes on any podcast, we're going to make a podcast the following week, even if we have nothing to talk about. Uh, it just so happens we do have something to talk about this week. So Yeah, so you guys well, got well, lucky. You about. guys I got mean, very we... lucky, boys. Just a heads up. Lucky Hold this up. week. Let's rephrase that. We will find, up, buddy. We will right. find something to talk about, all right? <laughs> yeah. Well, space. He, even if it's Mongolian throat singing. Dude, I should actually. Oh, it would be so copyright. I can't play it for the stream. Uh, by the way, sorry, the stream was Mongolian that's watching. Yeah, hey, man, that's not that, like the biggest compliment ever. Their music's awesome. <laughs> should, should we pop the intro, dude? All right. Welcome to the OSRs podcast. This is where we talk about RuneScape related content with RuneScape related content creators. I'm one of your hosts, Nit Nad Cow. There we go. I got it. Followed by. What's going on, boys? Rixie, as always. And Rice Cup. Oh, I have a question. Should we announce who's recording or no? Doesn't matter. What? Oh, oh yeah, right. okay. All right. I'm recording. All right, boys. So <laughs> all I want to see down in those comment sections is whoever the fuck right. has recorded this one, everyone else needs to match it. Because you guys know that my audio is <laughs> on fucking point. Okay. I don't fuck this up I don't fuck up the webcams, Mint Mad Cows at the top. Oh. He's down there. Okay. The audio is clean, crisp. Yeah, the only beef I want to have is who does a better job recording. <laughs> yeah yeah dude that's that's a good one actually all right so you did the last one and fucking michael's gonna do the next Yo, one so. only got whoa, whoa, leaked. good Yo, fucking leaked. luck only eight dislikes i even had to edit the video go through the effort <laughs> one oh, hour man. that was that was a bit i had to yeah. render that shit three times just to get like the right compromise of quality Jesus oh, Christ. All right, man. three times does it even get better i don't <laughs> Dude, because I was like, yo, the first time I was running that shit, it was like four GBs. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I can't, I can't upload that on YouTube. It's gonna be way too big, you know, for a freaking podcast of audio, you know. Uh, so I had to like find the right one, dude. Just, just right. to bro. The worst thing, man. Sometimes my Sony Vegas is what I render with. Like, if I put a clip in there that's an hour long, it just crashes it. That's happened with so many podcasts that we've oh, done. Oh, really? Uh, no it just said you're like, it's a struggle. Yeah, yeah, dude. dude. I feel that, is, man. man. I feel that. So what are we talking uh, about today? Yeah. We are going to be talking about the new death mechanics, which we covered a while ago, but there's even more changes to the yeah. gravestones coming in. Yes. There's a new death's office, which uh, so now this is here and things are happening and people are trying to like break yep. the game again just to see the code, especially Wooks. Oh, this man yeah. yeah. Oh, so, fire. but... Do you think before we jump into the videos, should we go over the actual blog so people understand what's going on? Because it's out of context otherwise. Yeah, I feel a like the video would be juicier, <laughs> and then the and then for the people that are more committed, they will want to listen in on the. All right, no, I just gotta. All right, all right. I, I, while probably. you're loading it up, man, let me just chime in and say why we're like I was streaming the night before the update, and so many people were excited for this death mechanic. And I'm, I'm just sitting there like, I mean, it's cool. But what do you just, you can't wait to die? Like, why are you so excited? I, dude, I actually think it's quite big, right? I, I, to give you, to give you an, like an example of why it's quite a big deal. So for you guys, right? Having 500K to pay your bill for if you die is not a big deal at all because yeah, you guys really. have a lot of cash. Um, I have recently, and I'm not even trying to sell out here, but it's the perfect opportunity to sell out. Recently bought a Twisted Bow on my account, sold everything. And earlier today, I was doing Armadillo. I had a 90k cash stack, okay? <laughs> like, if I died, I was fucked. I had to go and, like, rebuild elsewhere to get my gear back. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, oh. I, I actually had to focus. I was like, I cannot fucking die. So I just didn't. I just didn't take any chances. Like, I did get one HP'd once, but 
Oh you know. my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't understand it's a big deal for RuneScape, but like these guys were more excited for this update to go live than the bounty hunter update. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, I can't wait to go die and test out the mechanic. I'm like, bro, where was this excitement when the PvP updates Yo, like, were happening? Like, man, it's it's crazy, man. It's been a long time since PvM like in general felt dangerous it's been a long time yeah Dang- yeah dangerous. Like, this game, <laughs> game kind of like devolved into just just kind of like a one-sided thing where everybody just PVM because there was no risk or nothing you know yeah at so least we'll know like, that oh, they're oh, never oh, gonna oh, come oh, out with you know? the oh sorry we, my yeah bad. there was like you know what i mean there's this idea is like what's the point of pvp i lose shit in pvm i die nothing happens i get my stuff back you know but now we can probably start shifting that idea a bit because it's like Yo, you die even at goblins, bro. You you might lose like 500 if you have yeah. here. Yeah, I mean, game, right? dude, think uh, about it, right? Dying is something stupid because you weren't paying attention, and then you're like, oh, I gotta pay 500k. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah. Mate, that's I had I had weird. somebody in my chat earlier. I actually said to my chat, I was like, listen, give me a one in the chat if you think this update's good. Give me a two if you think it's bad. And then I went through the people who said two, and I said, why is it bad? And um, one of the answers, and this is a fair answer, you know, and it was just a player who said it's bad because I've only just learned how to boss. I'm still learning. And yeah. now if I risk good gear, I'm going to die a shit ton and lose loads of money. And I, I had a conversation with him where I was just like, well, that is how the game always used to be. In fact, it used to be a case of if you died, the people outside are going to walk in and take your shit. So I was you like, you probably didn't get your shit back. No, exactly. <laughs> it's literally training wheels yeah. compared so, to like the last one. It, yeah. it was. It was or, a- or here's another excuse. Somebody might say, well, what about all the people that learned it and then pay because now we, we banned them. <laughs> but I'll be like, I'll be, I look, man, we can't, we can't always be looking at the, the, you know, past and say these yeah. guys had it better than us because it's always been like that. You know, mm-hmm. there's always exactly. newer We're people. Almost, you know, like, it's always yeah, been like It's nice to live in that golden age before, because now it will never be relived again. Like yeah. we all played. And, and honestly, a lot of us been, went through worse. I mean, like, yeah. I fucking, I've lost full bandos before because I died of carols and barrels, dude. I couldn't get back on time. <laughs> How do you die of carols and barrels? Dude, no, you know what happened? Oh, okay. All right, basically, basically, freaking the server lagged and I was at 20 HP and carols maxed right before I could eat. Because oh, I was lagging, bro. It was so stupid. Like, Sounds literally. like excuses to me. <laughs> I don't mean, like, got full bandos to have barrows, dude. Keep in, mind, keep in mind, this was probably like 10 years ago, right? And my dumbass decided it was okay to stay at 20 like HP or whatever. Yeah. But, but basically, I don't know exactly how it happened. But I remember being low HP. I didn't eat. And then I lagged. Mm-hmm. Like, the server just froze for a few seconds. And I couldn't do anything. And then I just saw my character die. Yeah. I, I, do you know what? I think... I go, game for like half a year. <laughs> yeah, that happens, mate. I've had that. I had that happen to me once a long time ago. Uh, me and a very good friend of mine were doing Dagonoff Kings. This was back with the old death system. Uh, back in pre-OC when you had gravestones, right? And you had to bless your friend's gravestone or otherwise it disappeared in between two minutes and five yeah. minutes. So the server disconnected. I logged in first. I had died. Okay. So I said to my friend, I was like, mate, my entire bank is on the floor. Please log in and bless my grave. Please, please, please. But he wasn't sure if he DC, like if he died or either. So he logs in, gets one shot, right? He <laughs> lost, he lost yeah. like 200 mil back oh, in the, old, and dude. he, dude, I, I felt so bad, man. He was crying and like, he ended up leaving team speak. I felt so bad. He like, was crying. Yeah, he, dude, he's a really good friend of mine and I love him and I still talk to him to this day. But like, yeah. I, that was the worst I ever felt, man. He was dude. so, like he lost all of his yeah. items. He was absolutely destroyed. I only lost like 20 mil. It was my bank, but he lost like 200 mil. He lost yeah, Armadil, dang. Bandos. This was pre-EOC when shit was hard to get. It was hard yeah. to get money, man. It was it was rough back then. Dude. Was it hard to get, or we were, we were just all really shit at the game? Well, bro, I mean, it yeah. was hard, bro. Yeah. It was a little hard. bit of I mean, hard. At least for me, I didn't know enough about making money. But like, I, yo, I had a similar story at DK's, except it was like the opposite. It wasn't a friend. It was some random dude. But basically, uh, I was trying to X log at D, uh, at DK's room with a friend because you know the the world was taken, and that was the only way to like basically hop is is X log at Dagonal for X A spot. And I logged into some random world, and unfortunately, fucking Prime was on that spot where I logged in, and I I died instantly in like two shots, and I had full guttons and shit with me, so I lost that. But there was another dude there, right? Because obviously Prime was aggro to that other guy. Yeah. And I, I I died. I was like, oh fuck, dude! I just lost my bank. You know, I lost like full guttons, probably like yeah, twenty mil. 
but believe it or not, the guy messaged me, bro. I have my P I have my friends on public. He what? messaged me. He's like, yo, I got your shit. You want to back? I'm like, this dude. What? Like, no No way. idea who he was. Oh, no, no, no one idea. does that. I still remember him. His name was like Legends277 or something. Oh, yeah, dude. dude. Oh, Canadian, <laughs> isn't he? What a nice he man. He gave me back my shit. And then we became like God Wars buddies. And then we started making hella millions and stuff. God Wars. Oh, like, dude. Crazy. I was like, I can't believe this guy just got back. <laughs> and then I returned the favor because on old school RuneScape, remember the first year before like the one hour shit? The yeah. death mechanics were the same as the OG. And I remember I was doing DKs, but I, I was so in DKs. And then some dude, his name was Homeschool, right? He like, he went in, he went down there. I was I already had Prime on me and he fucking got attacked. Like he got mobbed because he was next to me and he got hit like whatever, 60 and he died. At same shit, full guttons. I picked it back up. I PM'd him. I gave it back to him. And I was like, oh, fuck it. Send it back. And then I became good ass friends with him. And I started doing a lot of bossing with him. So see, it's like the same shit, you know, like, yo. Yeah. Bro. If, if, if that was me or Mint Mad Cow, we'd have just added him to the ignore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, if that was me, I would not be a DKs. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll be honest, bro. I've taken shit before from people's deaths. Like I've I've gotten like a black cap and like obby shields back in the day when I was super broke fishing monkfish, but like now I'm Dude, that's actually a good comic question, man. All right. If you somehow made it through all these stories, <laughs> uh feel free to let us know if you've ever looted a shit ton of stuff off someone who's died with the never gave it back. <laughs> Oh, yes. dude, I bet there's like, loads back. of people. Or gave it back. Maybe you're a nice person. Yeah, right? or two that you give it back. Or I've, I've been on a couple of loot piles of people I can at pest control, but I never got anything. I've seen some rangers, though, and oh. I was always jealous. Yeah, I've looted some uh, monkfish boys, you know, AFK does. Uh, <laughs> Those were the, those were the good days. I really wish we could just have the old mechanics back, because then people but stop bitching about so the funny. wild. <laughs> that's just really so do. But like talking about and going back to the new death mechanic, right? So basically, if Don't you die, if you die, the most that you're gonna have to pay back is 500k. Your items yeah, are very safe. Uh, people aren't gonna like you can't lose your items if you can't pay for your items that you've lost. You can come back at a further date and buy them back for 500k. So. You, you can literally log out and then log in a week later and claim your stuff back. It's as safe yeah, we'll as it can to, be. We should go into more detail uh, in a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But um, um, what, is, what is this clip, by the way? I, I don't even know what he's doing. Oh, so, right? do you want to get into the videos now? Well, yeah, Rice, yeah, could you explain it. it like a little right, bit? Okay. Okay. Basically, uh, I'll just give a, a general like thing before we get the details. So, so, as soon as the update came out, Wooks basically, you know, he was ready, bro. He was ready to crack the game up. So, he uh, decided to mess around with various deaths in various areas you know this this video is going to be in uh dual arena but if you watch it i'll explain uh, after we perhaps <clears throat> oh, i'll turn it down a little bit uh, i don't think you guys are gonna be able to hear it by the way yeah i don't think there there was much audio oh so he's he's got an inventory open or something yeah once we watch it i'll i'll, I'll explain right Wait, how do you get the inventory open in the first place to fuck what is that yeah, well it took about uh, 10 minutes to find a bug so you see, there's a D skimmy in in this duel, and I'm sure there there was uh, it was Mark. Oh, he so snuck it in. Yeah, he snuck yep. it in. How? Like, so, if you look so, at the clip, oh, he, he died, died outside. Him? You see the death pile right next oh, to the. Oh fuck my ass, Wooks! You're insane. <laughs> Who thinks of that shit, bro? Hire this man and fire half the goddamn game. Yeah, okay, so so you're saying, oh, it's a glitch that you can actually reach the gravestone from there. It's actually not necessarily a glitch. You are allowed to loot your pile from like seven squares. To yeah, so he just insane. used an intended mechanic to do something that was not intended. But so the, the thing is, is actually a legit. You've That's seen all these people being like, yo, we need to hire Wooks <clears> as a tester. We need to hire him as a J mod. And it was like, we can't afford him. It's like, dude, I'd be down if we just like fired half of those guys and just like combine that big ass paycheck and just kind of. Yeah, and, and also, here's a cool tidbit Mont Ash yeah. passed this shit within minutes of seeing that, bro. Mont Ash and Wooks were basically duking it out, bro. Like, that would Wooks be a would try sweet. to find all the glitches, and then as soon as Mod Ash found out he was finding a new glitch, he'd be like, fucking, you know, bashing on that keyboard and fixing it. He, I think he patched like 10 different things, bro. You know, there was a bunch. Did he do like bunch. an art rendition of uh, Mod Ash and uh, Wooks? And yeah, no, nah, they were basically fighting it out, bro, on Twitter. But they're like, oh, it's fixed now. I got it. I got it. This on the control. That's such a like, hero oh, squad, man. Oh, That's all we need for RuneScape is those two and like some dude drawing oh, vampires, oh, and that will be fine. Yeah. Uh, this picture is pretty cool because like it showcases uh, the new structure for like the you know uh, kept on death tab in your equipment section. It like actually even shows you what items are stored in like the NPC that's holding your stuff. 
like oh, where, where, Jai, you know so it's really cool wait where does it show that sorry Ray? this way it's you know like when you go on your equipment and you do view items kept on death yeah 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 like, now it also shows you what stuff is being held by by npcs if you die oh okay so it's really yeah. nice so just in case you forget something you're drunk as fuck you can check on this real quick and see if you have anything oh that's um, that's somewhere. really but, useful man, beautiful it's pretty nice yeah, so, for you, I am. Oh, this one's interesting. This one's Wait, what? What is this? What is this? What is yeah, this? This, one this is, is a clip that I don't really understand, but it's got. I, 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 I understand. Okay, so it says um, charging four thousand glories per hour, and it's got two point one k upvotes. I don't know if that's good, but that's how much profit people. is that? I don't fucking know, bro. How know much is it for one glory? And then we just do the math. Dude, yo, that price is probably crash. If that shit stayed on for a long time, if this like was. You know, if it's 1k minimum per glory, that's 4 mil an hour? I guess so. But obviously this got patched instantly by Mod Ash. So He was on fire. I'm watching this clip. He dies to this mm -hmm. guy. So that yeah. guy killed him with a recoil ring right there. Mm -hmm. so, but that's a PVM death. That's a PVM death. He just wanted the skull to lose everything. I yep. see. I see. Okay. This guy's really bad at clicking, by the way. Just, uh... Just, like, like, that was the first thing I noticed, like, man. I was just part. like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He instantly dies, yep. charges his glories, and then and then all that shit sent to Death's office. Is that what happens? Yep. Oh, but then really? he has to buy him back. Then he has to buy him back, right? No, 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 because they're really cheap individuals. No, they're so under I don't think like have to pay. Uh, they're under a certain value. So, so he gets them back for free. Yeah, yeah. Basically, and yeah. they're noted, and they're noted when he gets them back. And no, it doesn't matter because he's right next to the bank. You can just get it from the grave right there. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Okay, so that that is a glitch. That's a hundred percent a glitch that already got patched. Because uh there's supposed to be two there's supposed to be two types of gravestones that don't connect with each other. They they they're not supposed to connect. So he died in he died as a P, um so basically he had, he died in the PvP uh wilderness, but that's not supposed to give him a gravestone in edge. So that was the glitch because you're supposed to have two separate uh, gravestones. So if you died in the wilderness, like to a player like that, you should have had a gravestone in that spot near the obelisk, not the gravestone at the edge. So what they weren't supposed to connect because they, they, you know, because they somehow connected. He was able to let himself die in in PvP and also get the glories back uh, into the normal, the non wilderness. Gravestone. Wouldn't it still work though if he just didn't loot him from the gravestone? He just like left him there and then went to office, or no? No, no, because that's a PVP death. So he gets a he was so any, any death in the wild is a PVP death. Then yeah, he was supposed to get a PVP gravestone. Yeah, which so they one, fix it so die. anytime you die in the wild, it's, it's yeah, no it would, gravestone. okay, All right. yeah, it should have been in the wilderness. It should stay yeah. there. Insane. Yeah, so so that was crazy that um he he found out that it can it was actually connecting, which but was not meant to happen. So. Well, that's the thing. That could, that that idea there could work anywhere outside of the wild. If you're gathering a shit ton of supplies and you suicide and then teleport back out, I don't know where it would be, but that. But you'd have to make sure it was a suicide is, death. That's yeah. Thing. But he died in he died yeah, to someone can, though. He died to the recoil, which is considered a PvP death. But so, if you do like a divine potion with the yeah. rock, it, it kills you. So you should be fine there. Wait, the rock? I don't think the rock can kill you. Suicide. The rock with the divine potion yeah. when it hits a team. Oh, divine! Yeah, divine. Yeah. You can you can combo. So you if unless they patch it, I mean, this could work. Yeah, they already area. patched. Yeah, they already patched it so that you can't cross reference the same gravestone, like two different gravestones. Oh, uh, so you can't just build it up. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that. Okay, all right. They should have done that a while ago, but still, really cool mechanic there. I'm loving yeah, these uh, little glitches, dude. No, no people yet. So, you know, cross your fingers. Oh, this one's interesting as well. I don't know if anybody's going to fucking willingly try to risk this style of bank saving, but you, you can have... Dude, how many are there? These are amazing. I thought we had, like, uh, one video. <laughs> no, we, we got... They're well, like this, a, this oh, is bro. the last one, mate. But, um, no, there's one more. There's one more. Uh, there's another could you, one. Could, there's another could, one. Could you link it to me, Reek? Because I've actually lost it, uh, mate. Oh, it's... it's uh, Unless it's that one there that's just there. One sec. Yeah, it's it's the, another one by Wooks. I got yeah, it. That, that one, whatever that is. I got it, I got it. All right, all right, all right. Go back to the other one. The, so, yeah. free, free bank space. Saver. Die with some junk and let it get sent to death. Any item under 100k is free to claim whenever you want it. So, yeah, this is actually like a... I, I guess it is a risk, isn't it? But like... 
If you got stuff like clue scroll rewards and whatnot yeah, that are worthless and you don't want clogging up your bank. Well, they stay in there forever, right? So I do. I hope so. I don't know. I wouldn't risk this shit. I'm the not top comment on this is having bank space issues. Just PM me your login <laughs> info and I will clean up your bank for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, not today. Thanks, man. <laughs> Oh, Joe Rogan no. sauna. By the way, like, name, right, bro. Yeah, I'm not I, sad, chat, everybody that watches this video, okay, I, I say this in the most peaceful way possible, okay, I have always been interested and intrigued what people enjoy posting on forums. I've personally never been a forum poster because Reddit is just one big forum. Like, it's not like Twitter where there's a picture attached to everything. It's like, a lot of this is just people talking. And if there are any Reddit users in the chat, I'd be very interested to hear like what it is about Reddit that you enjoy so much. Because it's just something I've personally never been into. Bro, the memes. So many memes every day. You these guys seem like such chill people on these on these posts, but I swear every time I go to Reddit, I just see a bunch of very special people. But if you scroll down more, you're going to see some more, uh, mm, you know, questions yeah. and comments. It, it goes Twitter. from like slightly witty conversation to just the dumbest people you've ever seen. <laughs> uh, Sweem's yeah, re Sweem replies saying, I don't expect us to patch it. It's something we discussed prior to the update. Uh, we could change or approach should there be a need to. Hey, um, baby, be careful. The Reddit, though. but not on Twitter, huh? Yo, okay, yeah. there is a storage limit, though. There is a storage limit. Uh, what are you saying, man? <laughs> no, no, but I'm just, I just like how they reply to every Reddit post, but not every tweet where yeah. racist people are rampant. Yeah, that see that that's the thing. Like, that's a conversation in itself that I've never really yeah. understood. Like, I, I'm thinking of it like people who just write text about the game are these the people that would have been the same people? who were on the old school RuneScape forums back in the day. Like, the people oh, that course. really, really mm -hmm. care about the game. Because, like, you know, there's a lot of, like, backlash and stuff that Reddit gets for being toxic and well, so on. But, like, at the end of the day, they're probably just people that really cared about the game. And now they've made their way onto here. And, like, I, I find it quite interesting, man. Well, like, I think it's more. just mixed up. It's, it's a very crazy diverse mix there's a lot of casual players that literally only go on the subreddit just post memes and upvote memes and, and well the thing about like reddit is not, it's, not people that play the game. it's not it's not a free conversation though like you could post runescape content you could get shit on for it or you could post a meme and get love that's how reddit works as a whole it's very um you know they'll, they'll pick and choose what they want on their forms well, I it's like a hive mind. So it's like, perfect, I say it's a perfect example of a hive mind. Twitter's yeah. more of a hive mind. This Reddit's owned by yeah. one person, and uh, they're very political. And then a lot of these posts um, are, are very one side. Like, you don't see any PKing posts, right? <laughs> right? When I post something on Reddit where I get a PK, it's downloaded instantly. So it's Bro. not about RuneScape. There's a narrative. Like, pushing, when it comes so. to content creators, though, they don't like when people, when content I've creators never seen on Reddit, anybody post except a PK for like a few there. handful of people. There's only a few people. That has been able to basically monopolize yeah, the Jimmy Settle. They post on Reddit just fine, but it was yeah, anyone everybody else. else though. If they try to post it, will not. Yeah, I like, and I like Jimmy and Settle. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, as an example, it, it, Reddit's pretty, very biased. It's very biased. And I think it's easy to bot thumbs up too. Like I'm pretty wow. sure you oh, yeah. I don't know much about that part. Yeah, we don't. We don't got to agree on that. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Yo, here's our oh, here's, here's our, our thing, my bubble. That's yeah. where we go for our pictures, though. We we skip the combos and we just yoink the memes, man. Bro, what is up with this Konar Slayer tab? 1.1 billion GP Konar Slayer tab. 184 brims of keys. Why would this is a fucking? Alright, we're getting too deep into the yeah, Reddit. I, but look how pixelated <laughs> this image. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's we're uh, fuck's sake, uh, Rafe. <laughs> I, I want to see what the guy got. Hold up, man. Oh, he got free Hydra tools. Hydra, bro. It's because of Hydra, man. Hydra, dude. This is a. Uh, this is quite a nice looking This tab, is like man. the Mr. No Sleep of Reddit. What is this shit? The guy has a Hydra love, you know. He loves Hydra. Hail Hydra. Oh, God. Hydra Yo. is like, after three kills, I want to quit. Quick yeah. quiz for you boys. Where do you think that you got the Morton Glass for as a drop? Uh, uh, no, that's Kraken? Grim Rock Crabs. No, Kraken? no. Brimstone. Brimstone, I think. Brimstone? Brimstone. Yeah, do they? Yeah, it's, a, it's an even amount, so. Oh. Uh, Yo, those meds. Look Re, at those meds. Dude, I, Re, I would love to see you go on to like you know Ron? Ron plays games. He does game shows like trivia stuff. Oh, yeah. You'd be mm. so good on that, man. You never invited me. So. 
<laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna directly message him and say nah, you nah, need to nah. invite Big Brain Rion. There's no love, man. Ron only invited me once, and then he just invites everybody he likes back, dude. Where's the love, Ron? Well, I've only been invited once, dude. Yeah, but you got a whole Twitter thing. Oh, our boy Rakesy, you know, and Mint Mac Cow comes on. They're like, hey, look at him. Okay, this is our last <laughs> video. This one's the last video. I just saw this, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on over here. But... I have no idea what's happening. Right, so he, Wait, just, he video, just died inside. The video is not proper. Properly. We oh, need to... sorry, 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 sorry. We just missed my, out. My, half my the apologies, here. boys. Sorry, let me. Yeah, we fix we expect here. perfection. All right, yeah. you're right. Plus one for. By the way, look at the views Luke's gets on Twitter. We don't even get that on YouTube. Seven K views already. He just uploaded it this hour. Right. And so... he was able to somehow smuggle a DDS. Oh, that's why. That's the thing that's going on. Well, yeah, what did he was he able do? to smuggle the DDS. In the Entrana. Yeah. Where yeah. Be naked. Yeah, um, so he he managed to How do you get the DDS in there in the first place though? Because Entrana was supposed to have a separate gravestone and somehow he managed to make the gravestone connect to each other. So he had like a gravestone. Wait, can, can you go back to Zora? I want to see if he has a DDS. I think he did. It's the best thing I've seen, but like, what do you even do with that? <laughs> it's just he, does, he doesn't have one equipped. No, he did. Oh, wait, he, he died previously. He died at Edge. There's some like. So he died to the he's, venom. he's season code, dude. He's seeing shit we don't even know. Oh, what's so going he on. basically, I think he timed the venom so like it stalled stalled his character from getting the message of like you can't answer with a weapon or something. I think that's probably what it was. This guy's got such a big brain, man. I swear to God. Yeah, I, honestly, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even understand how this will work. But he somehow he, he somehow connected different gravestones. Because like in Entrana, if you die, you have a separate gravestone. He's yeah. the only person I've seen make like uh, like on Twitch that could make content out of death mechanics. He was just walking around naked with like four K viewers. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because <laughs> you you know that like there's big expectations from him, but like, dude, he follows me. No way. Hold up, boys. Look at him. Look at me. Hold up. I Man. didn't. Since when did fucking Wooks follow? Unless this is like the fake Wooks. It says follows. Why'd you be fake? Uh, no, it's real. Nice. Bro. People, when did this man follow me? Oh, bro. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. I, I have just, I have just ascended. <laughs> You're one of the lucky 80 people, bro. Oh, my God. Why the fuck does he follow me? Do I don't even post on Twitter? He, yeah, follow, he, he follows Kemp Q, mate. This, all right, that means nothing. Okay. <laughs> <That Thank you>. means <laughs> he actually follow. I I have met uh, Wooks. I think twice, twice in real life. He's uh, as you can imagine, very humble, very nice guy. Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty chill. <clears throat> have Have you met him as well, Ray? Have you? Yeah, yeah. He's you know he's he's really he's really chill. <laughs> yeah, he's he's very yeah. Chill's probably a good word to describe him. Very, very nice. Uh, he won't nice start person. the conversation, but you know he'll engage if you engage. Yeah, I remember having. I was. I remember talking to him the first time I ever met him, and it was almost like talking to an alien in the sense of like, <laughs> like in in the nicest way possible. Where I was just what like, the "Fuck, buddy, <laughs> it's an alien." No, because all right. For, firstly, hey, all of a sudden tomorrow, for, just you see seventy nine followers. <laughs> firstly. <laughs> I was I was looking oh, up dude. to him because he's tall oh. as fuck, dude. He's a tall yeah. guy, okay? Yo, he's taller than you, right? Yeah, he's taller than me. I'm you're six like free. Six yeah, yeah, I'm six like, free. Um, he must be like six five, six six or something. He's yeah, tall. Yeah, yeah, right? So firstly I'm Rick's looking like, up to I'm him. not used to people taller than me. <laughs> no, not at all, man. So I I've got that kind of like, you know, I'm looking up at him. And he's usually um, do this. <laughs> I, I said to him, I was just like Wooks. I was like, congratulation on getting the first Inferno cape in game. This was just after the Inferno came into game. And I said, um, I managed to get the 15th one that came into the game. I was like, that's my proudest accomplishment. And I said to him, I was like, mate, I was like, I was actually trying to beat you, but that was never going to happen. And I, I had a conversation with him about the Inferno. And I was just like, it took me a long time to sort of like progress with it and get better. It took me a week to get the first one from release to have in the cape took me seven whole days and I was doing the Inferno 12 to 16 hours a day. Probably more around 16 hours a day. I really wanted it. And uh, uh -huh. I, I, I said to him, I said like, I don't really know how to explain my progress, 
but eventually i just seemed to get better at what i was doing and i yeah, said to him I, 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 I yeah i i said to him i i couldn't even tell you what i did differently but i just knew how to handle situations better the more that i did it and uh we were just having that kind of conversation and i was just like I don't know how you figured it out so fast. Like, he literally was getting to Zuck, like, day one, maybe day two at the latest. It's just like, damn. That's something else, you know? Yeah, man. And that I had was this... A, that was a great time on Twitch. I had this whole conversation while gazing <laughs> into his beautiful eyes, and I was just looking at him like a kitten, man. Just... God whoops. <laughs> nah. But yeah, no, he's a really nice guy. He really is. He, uh... He didn't spit on me or anything like that. He was just no, a genuinely humble person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, freaking alien colony. Hey, Luke, I don't think you're an I think you're a beautiful person. So right. If you want to hit me up in that follow. Here, here's here, here's a question for you boys, including the people watching this video. Like, Wooks is a fucking genius, okay? Now, I always think this, like, in terms of his potential and intellect, in a <laughs> sense, like, do you think that he would be in a way, I kind of look at it like, imagine if he was working for, like, NASA or, like, SpaceX or something like that. Like, would he be able to have, like, a massive impact? Because this is, oh, this I'm cannot sure. just be inside of RuneScape. Like, this man no, is no, gifted. He, he is very good at conceptual things and theoretical things, you know? Like, he can, like, think about something and solve something that so abstract that most people right. wouldn't really think about. Maybe that's what mm. Luke was about to do, but he has insane claustrophobia and he just couldn't do it. You know, maybe that was almost his career path. NASA. Maybe. I don't know, but you you can ask him himself. You know, Dude, one day yeah. you can ask him. We'll invite him on the podcast. Yeah, obviously, I'm, like, I'm podcast gonna start. I'm gonna start my first. Sorry, yeah, I'm closing my window. I'm gonna start my first ever poll on Reddit. I don't even know if polls are a thing. A petition for there oh, to be a chess match between Ryska. And what? Whoops. No, I don't even really play chess. <laughs> I don't know chess. What the hell? You gotta wear really shiny glasses. Oh, look, think about all the big move, brain. And, like, and dude, dude, place. I will literally pay for there to be a trophy, which is just a golden brain. Yeah, <laughs> just saying, NASA would hire Wooks probably, but they wouldn't hire me for sure. <laughs> they wouldn't hire me. <laughs> so yeah, don't even bother, bro. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be sweet. All right, so I guess the last thing to get onto now is the actual update itself. So the uh, the blog that Jagex posted. So I will read Should the we beginning. Watch video? Yeah, oh, is watch there a, the video? Yeah. Oh, there's there's a, a video? Yeah. Oh, there's a video. There's a video, dude. Oh, right here, right here. Let's but there's gonna be no sound right unless you capture it. I believe. See, I swear the art team always does a great job, no matter what. Oh, right, what the fuck seconds. are those? Look at those thumbnails, bro. That's soul missions right there on the left. <laughs> dude, these are some clean thumbs. <clears throat> he always does the little corners darker you know he always like i tried doing thing. that it didn't help me yet okay that's his style that's just that's just you know a motif can you boys hear this hey guys how's it going mod archie here to raise it a quick a look at the death update i'll do captions so we don't have to listen this it doesn't week. matter that's that's, you can do that's a very good idea mate i like that okay yeah, yeah it's right there if you click on cc just click on the cc oh damn yeah. Hey yeah, guys, how's it going? Go. Mod Archie here to bring you a quick look at the death update yes. coming to Old School RuneScape this week. Old School RuneScape this week. When you die, Archie and now he uses words really well, so like the, which the CC thing actually... Wait, he did what, sir? No, like the... You know, it's it's auto-generated, but but like he announced the words really clearly, so the system knows exactly what he's saying, and it's like the words are correct. If you died <laughs> in an instanced area, such as a private Kraken room, the Look at that, because like if you do CC automatic on my the video, I have to work every fucks. Bro, what about my videos, man? Can you imagine? It just come up with like a load of gibberish, just like. <laughs> <laughs> if you die, Look at this! All the words are boom, 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 correct. Every time. Just making the the it up, bro. On <laughs> the same goes for Godwin. The gravestone is available. Who the fuck does Vandas no prayer, bro? Boys, are we gonna listen to the video? Yeah, I'm listening. I'm hush. I didn't know words were happening. Sorry. Yeah, we were just talking over work. the video. Use that brain read, of yours. Bro, I'm watching this like an anime dog. <laughs> Dude, I can read and talk at the same time. Okay. Uh, okay. On every Multitask. Okay. I can. I so do one thing at a time. You remember which world you ride on. <laughs> and it'll remain in place for 15 minutes. Counting down only while you're logged in and actively playing. Awesome. It also pauses if you become inactive. So players who struggle very with good their dragon connection set. won't be at a disadvantage. I like the on fade into the disconnect. I like that. Depending on the value of what it contains. 
most items, especially newbie kit. I like the zoom in, like you do, yeah, dude. And yeah, there's a discount for Iron accounts. Yeah, and that's one of the interfaces right there. Away, which just, was, just curious. Oh, what do you guys think about there being a discount for Iron accounts? What are your I don't takes like on this? I don't like it. I don't understand why anyone playing an Iron Man would want help. <laughs> No, but see, a lot of players they play Iron Man now thinking that they should be like catered to, and I, I'm not a big fan. All right, I'm not yeah. saying you know it's not the worst thing ever, but I'm not a big fan. They shouldn't have it. It seems it's a little not like making GPs effort. that hard on it. It kind of seems a little favoritism, doesn't it? it I, is, I, I don't it know. Is. I don't. I'm not... Do you think the JMods have an Iron Man? They're just kind of like like I, I heard know, rumors. Really they like, said like, they were gonna change it, and I hope they do because like. It just I, seems unnecessary. Oh, like, it doesn't need to be like that. It I would be, be down if price. Iron Man had to pay, like, four yeah, times bro. the price. And, and, and don't say I'm a hater, because I play Iron Man every day. Okay? Yeah, I like, know. I don't like the fact that the reason why I play Iron Man is because I want to play the same rules, except in a harder way. Yeah, that you want the challenge. So you, you don't want it easier. Rules, why are you changing the rules to accommodate for Iron Man? That makes no sense. That's backwards. You know what I mean? We're supposed to accommodate to the updates. Not it should be even the harder. Opposite. Dude, yeah, what would exactly. you think of a game mode that's hard Iron Man and like drop rates are more rare and shit costs more money and the buy back your items like five times the price? I mean, no, I just I just want just them to see pay the price. Dude, something I would love to see is if they made uh, something like Ultima Hardcore. This is the same as Diablo, uh, where you can make like a hardcore Diablo free account and if you die, oh, the account just logs you out and you're gone. You can't log back in. You yeah. have to start again. Yeah. R3 used to have a, a true hardcore. I don't know why I don't have that. That yeah. would be that would be awesome. Like, how interesting would that be? Like, th think about this. Like, people like yeah, Boaty, people like Boaty Foe, and all of these really end game hardcore man's doing like TOB. Like, they've got that far without dying. Like, how cool would it be to watch somebody do that? And you know, and if die. they die, they lose everything. Yep, and it's completely know? went. Yeah, no, R3 had that, you know. But but yeah. people were not a fan, and they and they had to like change it. Yeah, but that's the thing. RuneScape Free is an old school. RuneScape Free want fucking to pay for XP. We don't. We want to earn oh, ourselves. No, 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 no. Not in RuneScape Free though. No, we got no, all these people wanting to use your shit. On, on the Iron Man, even R Street, you can't do that. I don't understand hmm. why people want an easier game. It doesn't make right. sense. To, why even play a, a game mode? Do you know why? Do, 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 do don't treat RuneScape as a game. Do you want to know something? Like real life. I, I think that if you really, like, get a bit, a bit philosophical with the whole how old school RuneScape has gone, I think that they've actually done this in a perfect manner, where they made it kind of, like, easy and more appealing to the world, the biggest audience they possibly could, where it's like, hey, you can play yeah, this so game, wider audience. you can learn this game as somebody who has nostalgia tied to it, and there is basically no risk in playing it, okay? And now a lot of people are at the point where you know, the game's too easy. They're just like, fuck playing a main account. I want to play my Iron Man. I want to do stuff difficult. So people have kind of caught up. Like, people are at a point now where people are really good at the game. Even the average player has come a long way compared to what it used to be. So it's kind of at the point now, it's the tipping point where it was too easy and people just got too good. And I'm hoping with these um these death mechanics, it might balance it out a little bit. You know, that's, that's how I feel. Like, people have got to the point now where, you know, they're gaming. And it's like, now they have to really take it seriously. Like, no more messing around. Anyways, I'm going to play the video. May help in yep. a dangerous area. And <laughs> what are we, what are we learning here, dude? They're just kind of using grave now, shows, you die again, well, you Yeah, they're just showing grave you grave examples. Grave. Your items will be sent to your existing They're just people grave. dying. Though any food or potion... And like, I'll have a better video. video. <laughs> no, no, just... If you read it, you know, it'll tell you. Like, God War spawns outside, But what happens if your grave expires? That's a sweet-ass grave. Can you get cool graves? Yeah, I bought it I paid for it too, man. Wasted you the are. biggest 200k. That's why I only had 100k I'm for armor, man. I'm gonna look good dying. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a spicy it's ass grave, death. bro. I yeah, like did you, you don't want no little shitty gravestone, man. You wanna, you wanna, you want, dude, you want, viewers trying to watch dude, the video. They're like, come on, you, bro. You want that gravestone to be like your fucking schlong, like pointing in high and mighty out of the ground, like I, I was die. here. <laughs> you gotta die in fashion. Entry to death's here. office can be found conveniently near each Ooh. respawn point. If any of you haven't yeah. been to Death's Office, this place is graphically beautiful, by the way. You should check it out. Gotta to get it for the music track. track. You don't need to pay all cash. 
Death's Coffer allows you to sacrifice items, which will credit you. Oh yeah, and then you can also sacrifice items to cover the cost this if you don't have cannot GP. Be withdrawn as cash. I think that's uh, amazing. I think that's amazing. I think that's yeah, amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Thing, you know, also, like some barrels here might get sacked. In yeah, the process, and al good. also, I don't know if you knew this, Ray. I'm sure you do because you got big brain. But it's a hundred and five percent of its value. So instead of it just being like the grand exchange yep. value, it's an extra five percent, which so encourages people to go to the GE and buy shit and throw it in there because you're gonna die eventually and you might as well just get the most money value for your money yeah basically if you somehow are that stupid and can't make in 15 minutes within you know a non idle time you gotta pay more than what you normally pay at that's off one of five percent so it's five percent of ge value to get your shit back mm. all right let's continue mm -hmm. Items. Each individual item has to be worth so at least most 10, like it coins. It's a cool menu, now, of course, I guess. None of this applies to <laughs> ultimate iron. I love camps. that fucking fire. While it may feel odd to exclude that mode while other players yeah, the damage is crispy. Due to their methods of holding items, it would affect them disproportionately. Yeah, what if you can Besides cook on that, that <laughs> Places with special death protection <laughs> issues, such as the theater. It probably blood, tastes a little death. Yeah. The volcanic mine. And oh yeah, also stuff that already we'll makes you pay alone. in the past, their like Warcat and TLB. That's going to stay the same, 100k if you die. The one that or, uh, change, also Zora too. Zora, Zora now has the 100k if you die. Currently have a fee. After the first you're 50 kills. So if you're, learning, if you're learning, if you haven't reached 50kc, you don't pay anything. Well, after 50 though, you're not a learner. You're going to be paying. To I, I think that's nice really good. People, dude. They're yeah, way too nice. No, to no, no I, I, I think I mean, that's no. fine because we've all had it so easy for so hey. long. Hey. Do you know what I mean? Nah, fuck it, man. Take this away their game. one of the best. Let them bleed, dude. Yeah, I this is gonna be the hard way. way. Yeah, they they are. I mean, they're gonna be paying, bro. After 50kc, they're gonna be paying. Oh, dude, bro, be this, look, look at this, day. man. We got a fucking solo mission video being He's advertised. Trying to get on the video, <laughs> bro. These solo missions got the. <laughs> you know, like mod Ash saves. What the fuck, dude? What is this? We'll get both as part of this update. Uh, However, the fee will only be charged once you've right, got a Zelda Are we learning anything with Papa? Yeah, okay, let's... Also, I think we'll do it. We'll continue retrieving the items. You guys happy with that? Right, he's like taking notes. He's like, I like this shit, bro. I love this mm -hmm. video. All right. Well, I'm I'm sorry. I feel like we should work on that a bit in the future so we can have audio for everyone. Because yeah, I was right. quite enjoying it. But, uh, you it was know, good. I was reading certain it. people were talking I'm over it. Sorry, we couldn't hear anything. Yeah, bro, you know? Oh, I, man, I feel like we ruined that part of the hey, video a little bit. It's all good. That's fine. We're just commentating. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I think that this is really good. I, I yeah, we, I really we should like cover it. this. We should cover this uh, in parts. You know, like we did. We already. Um, yeah, yeah, let's just. It's pretty. Good. It's pretty straightforward. So pretty much, you die. You get a gravestone. If you don't get to your gravestone, it goes to death's office. Um, and then yeah, I guess we can go to the part where how much it costs, but. Yeah, so uh, uh, effectively, if you get back to your grave within 15 minutes, Wait, you... Can you go up more when you when you uh, talk about the costs? Because uh, oh, the they, costs they, on her. Okay, one yeah. second. All right, I'm going to power read the motherfucking out of this. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Right, so this is just updates. The I think these are just changes, so we don't have to do this. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right, so I will read this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo! PVM death gravestones. All right, we know about this. I'll read it anyways. All right, when you die outside of PV PvP, your three most valuable items will remain in your inventory when you respawn. The rest will be dropped near where you died. The location will be marked with a gravestone. You'll also see it marked on the world map. So if for whatever reason you forget or you DC or log out, when you log back drugs. in, you can look at the world map. Yeah, drugs. Then drugs, which is the number one killer of hardcores you know, in-game, by the way. wood cutting. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so marked on the map. So... You can't really fuck this up to get your items back. You can return to the gravestone and click on it. You can loot your gravestone from up to seven tiles away. So there's no need to put yourself in danger while you look through the interface. But beware. Graves don't last forever. You'll have 15 minutes to collect your stuff before it disappears and is taken to Death's office. Um, this is to amp ample time to reach most newbie areas so effectively like if you die in runescape you should be able to get back there in 15 minutes regardless of where it is um but getting to distant boss rooms could be a challenge a timer will appear on the screen to let you know how long you've got timer will pause if you become inactive or log out yep or if you dc your grave will give you some common items for free but more valuable items will cost 
Uh, fees start at 1,000 GP for an item worth 100k, rising to 100k for an item worth 10 million GP. Iron players will get 50% discount since it's much harder for them to obtain cash quickly yeah. should you forget Proceeds. the money. Still or, doesn't <laughs> or simply not want to risk it on the way there. Okay. Uh, yeah. If all the math sounds a bit intimidating... Pfft, Easy. Who the fuck is this intimidating? <laughs> math? This math, dude? What the fuck? Because like, it's they because don't have a lot of faith in our community. <laughs> it's because they put they put the percent sign in there. That's yeah, what it is, yeah. man. Right there, dude. Uh, <laughs> put on a calculator, like, oh, it's fifty times. Or... <laughs> if me, all dude. of the math sounds intimidating, do not panic. Also, I got a Pokemon card that's going to end in five minutes, and I want it, so don't let me forget. The item keeps on the death screen has been updated to show you exactly what you're risking, what gravestone fees to expect. So, items that are kept, items that are lost to players who kill you, items that are deleted. Damn. So, if you're petting it in short, mate, it going in there, I expect. Well, actually, that's a good question. Would pets come up in there? No, well, the, there's already insurance, so you just get it back if from you're the you're not insured, yeah. do you just... It's gone. It's always been. It's not insured. It's gone. I'm okay. Sure. I don't know. Special yeah. item rules. Some items uh, behave strangely on death. They might break or turn into something else. For example, the items kept on death screen will tell you everything you need to know about this. But here are a few rules of thumb. Charged items. Items which require charges to use as the toxic blowpipe will convert to their uncharged, tradable version upon death. Outside PvP... They'll go to the gravestone. You also get any leftover charges back in the toxic blowpipe example. This would be an amount of Zora scales equivalent to the charges remaining. Jeez. In a PvP death, of course, these items will just drop to the ground for your killer to loot. So nothing's changed for PvP. I got to call it a killer, man. No wonder people don't like us. Filthy dude. killers. It's a friendly wilderness civilian, dude. Come on. Filthy killers. How could you kill somebody? <laughs> how could you? <laughs> how could you morally? take somebody's items without their consent Anytime you see someone enjoying the game you better shit talk them while they're attacking you or they're not going to know they're doing something wrong <laughs> tell them to sit some items such as fire capes will break on death and must be repaired uh how this works depend like on where you are in game and how you died so they're applying that good. to pvm good um if you're in pvp when you die one of the following two things will happen at level at wilderness level 20 and below your items will break and the pk will not receive will receive coins equal to the repair cost in deeper wilderness the items will turn into a tiny pile of coins which is dropped to the pk using a torver parchment on the item will lock it will return the normal variant to the item to wait what Using Very, a torver, they really like them words. Using a Torver parchment on the item to lock it will return the normal variant. They're just explaining old mechanics. They're just explaining right. The Something I'm confused stuff. about here, though, it's saying that if you were to die in full void under level twenty wieldy, they get the equivalent of the repair cost for that void. Yeah. But it's That's saying, always happening. but it says the item in deeper wieldy will turn into uh -huh. a tiny pile of coins. Yeah, because so, it's not broken, it's just lost. So it's the dumbest mechanic ever. That so doesn't void, sound right. Surely you should get the yeah, but, but you have to and parch no. it's because you have to get the parchment, which costs a lot of yeah, money. If you if you parch it you get the parch cash. Okay. Um, it's a huge item sink and it's really fucking unfair to the PKers really, but uh it costs yeah. money to get okay. It costs a fuck of money, you only get like a quarter of it back. It's rough. It's All right. Rough. So if you're in PVM combat and you die in the wilderness, levels under 20, the items will be sent to your gravestone. In deeper levels, it'll be turned into a pile of cash, uh, which will be sent to the gravestone unless you use Tor of Apartment. Anyone that's dumb enough to take Void into the world, he deserves to lose it. Uh, yeah. Tradable yeah. ornament kits. A lot of ornament kits are tradable, such as the Dragon Full Hammer ornament kit, Dark Infinity color kit. All right, let's, let's the, scroll down here. <laughs> Okay. Know, those are interesting. Though, that's interesting. Are you sure yeah. ornament kits are interesting? Okay. Yeah, because if you if you add it to an item, it doesn't get risked when yeah. you die. Yeah. So what? it's basically just an extra plus one, and you can yeah, have, the, dude. Like, think if you're doing armadil, you can do it for your ring of no, sorry, not ring of suffering. You can do it to your uh, your anguish, and say you're a court necklace, for example. So they're just two extra items that you protect. Which basically, Why? my prediction, by the way. Your boy may have invested in a bunch of anguish kits. Uh, mm -hmm. I think they're gonna skyrocket, dude. Yeah. Because like people that are filthy rich, man, it, if the different, it might be a hundred k they lose every death, or they can just buy the ornate kit and they never have to worry about it. Like oh, it's also, actually a super nice item. Also, keep in mind, right? The cap right now is five hundred k for uh, you know for if you get it back within fifteen minutes, right? I think there's the cap is five hundred k. And then Iron Man's 250. 
It's so weird how the kits work, though. I don't. Yeah, they just did that because the kits were kind of were pointless. Well, yeah, they should be pointless. They're just cool looking. Yeah, no, it's just it would cost more though. They would risk more with the kits. Good. So they decided well, to make right. it so that the kits. I don't know why they just decided. And I was like, whatever. Right, right. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. I'm like, okay. Hey, Sorry, I didn't even know that. I thought yeah. we were just gonna talk about ordering kids. <laughs> nah, dude. What the hell? Okay. No, dude. Right. I don't know, dude. Okay, items that turn into coins. <laughs> items that turn into coins if drop during Scroll PvP. Down, buddy. Can't see it. Such yeah, as the Bachelor or Anchor. We'll continue to do so, but we'll usually remain in your inventory if you die in PVM. Specific pouches. Pouch type items such as room pouches, essence pouches, herb sacks, bolt packs, bolt pouch, which store a quantity of resources would previously lose their contents on death. After this updates on death, these resources will fall uh, out of the container and either go into the gravestone or the PKR's loot pile. Okay, that's good. Depend on how you've died. Nice. Yeah, man, you want to read the PvP one, bro? Oh, um, okay. Yeah, if you, read, if you read this, dude, because my Pokemon card's about to be out for <clears> bid <throat> in like 30 seconds, man. So go! Okay, I'm just getting to it real quick. Here it is. Uh, PvP Dance's update hasn't changed much for PvP scene. If you kill by a PKR, your, un your tradable items will become lootable. Your untradable items will be uh, either transformed to something the PKR can pick up or can be taken to your gravestone. Uh, that's, that's, that's it. That's... <laughs> That was the whole PvP depth thing. I'm glad I read that. Uh, other notes on gravestones. Huh. Uh, your items will be lost if the game world rebooted. Oh, before this update, sorry. Or if you logged on uh, into the wrong game world. In this update, your items will stay in the gravestone regardless of what world you're on or if the world reboots, which is good because the only reason we don't have dangerous mechanics anymore is because of DDoSers. And DDoSers exist because apparently RuneScape's the easiest fucking game to DOS. So, yeah, or we'd have super dangerous stuff. Uh, in instanced areas, a gravestone will appear outside the instant where the owner can loot it. Previously, items could be lost inside instances, which some players would uh, give a nasty surprise. That's why I never did an instance when I DC'd, because I'd be afraid to lose all my shit in there. Yeah. So that's good that that's actually fixed. That's, uh, that's huge. That's so weird. That's, that's been a problem for so long. Uh, it does not affect Vorkaf, Iconic Mine, etc., where you can get your items back for a fee. If you die inside one of the Godward's dungeons, your grave will appear outside. Um, if you're unlucky enough to die a second time on your way back to the grave, any items you drop will usually be put in the same grave, so it'll just combine if it's nearby. And food and potions will not go in the grave and will be dropped under it, so you can loot it while tanking. Uh, they really try to make it as easy as possible to, uh, I don't know, loot back your shit, man. I guess yeah. they were scared people would uh, quit if they couldn't get their shit back. Well, that was the biggest problem, okay? Is I think yeah. Jagex realized that before the easy death mechanics, there were some very spiteful individuals out there that would DDoS the world, and yeah. then they would loot That's all the of the shit, dude. Spot. That was it. How, so, how the fuck are we still getting DOS? It's, they just made 100, I think on Reddit, I know. 100 mil profit this year? It's I know, a company it, dude. It's a different. It's another subject for a different podcast, dude. We should we should totally cover it, but we could talk it's about it for hours, man. That little dude just takes on the whole server, just chilling at home yeah. like the fucking World of Warcraft meme on South Park. It's all you need, dude. But but this is something I think that they have almost covered all bases. Like they've considered that within this update. For example, they've made it so that it was almost impossible for somebody to specifically and maliciously trying to make you lose your items because they've done it in a way where yeah it kind of sucks because you're still going to have to pay some money but ultimately you're not going to lose your stuff uh and also i don't think uh, i'm probably wrong but i don't think there will be many ddosers that are gonna try and abuse this and make people lose like 500k because is it really worth that like it's an illegal thing to do firstly whether people get caught or not but like is it even risk is it even worth the risk and you'd gain nothing from it. So I think Jagex have done a good job to cover like most of the bases here, to be honest. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I'm just sad but that they can't fight against that. Um, we should, we can so talk about it sometime. We could get like a DDoSer on here. Could have somebody then, on her. Yeah, man. that'd be such a great idea. Let's invite them on over. You can grab our IPs. Uh, <laughs> get us some info. Ah, oh, dude, we'll, we'll be great. We'll be dandy. Right. So, okay. So basically, if you don't get your gravestone in time, it will collapse. Anything left in it will be sent to Death's office. It's quite a hassle for him to 
Trapeze? 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 What, who the fuck uses that word? Is bro? that like some sort of gymnastic word or something? Trapeze. <laughs> They're trying to be, they probably were like synonyms for running. Oh, trapeze. And I just fucking put that bitch in there. <laughs> so, all of the time in the world to get your stuff back, you can expect to pay a little more for the privilege, you privileged mother chucker. It's valued at under 100 GP. Uh, I'll return oh, for free. It's not called trapeze. Sorry, it's called trapes. I don't know what the fuck uh, it okay. is. Oh, Def, I looked it up. Def has a soft spot for newbies, but anything more will cost you 5% of its current grand exchange value. Again, iron players will get a 50% discount. You can find the entrance in Edgeville. Beautiful. Uh, you can find it in Lumbridge. You can find it in the White Knight in, Castle in Falador and... Spawn Point, I believe. Yeah. 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 Yes. Pretty much. Uh, after this update, the first time you die, you'll be taking a death's office at Gravestone after the update. I'll walk you through the bait. Dude, that's not happened to me. I I've not died yeah. yet. I'm just too damn good. Uh, set, right. set you loose before 15 minutes time start. If you're feeling exceptionally fancy, or if you die a lot, and would like something nice <laughs> to look at while you're doing it, you can purchase the Cosmic Angel of Death Gravestone from Death, since players seldom see each other's graves. We haven't offered a wider variety of options for now. I think that's good as well. So you can't see each other's graves. So for example, yeah. if there actually was, the, the people I was talking about, the very malicious people that were DDoS people, if they really wanted to fuck somebody over, a perfect example could be this, okay? If you could yeah. see everybody's grave- In the past, dude, yeah. you can't. It's so if, hard to lose when there's so many- if you could see everybody's grave, imagine if somebody like someone really hated a certain Iron Man on Twitch. Let's let's use Re for example, okay? So he's doing Ooh, Bandos. Hey, Re. Be he, yeah, he dies at Bandos and his grave spawns outside the door, which is where and it spawns. And a hundred bots die on top of it. Well, GG, well played. There's your items gone. So I think that's very like they've taken a lot into consideration with this. They this hasn't just been some half ass shit. Like I can yeah. tell they've been working on this for for a, a while. Lot. Yeah. Because um, I remember they first surveyed this shit like three years ago. <laughs> yeah. <remember> that. <laughs> well, better, <laughs> better late it's than never. Time. I think the government comes out with policies faster than RuneScape comes out with these updates, man. Like, it takes a long time. Jeez. Yeah, but hey, man, at least this one's pretty good, though. It's not yeah, this this is good, man. Right, suppose for a moment you didn't have the cash on hand to pay the gravestone fees or retrieve your items from Death's office. If you have any items you don't really want, you can offer them. So if you're an Iron Man and you've got seven dexterous prayer scrolls worth 40 mil pop, you can just give them to Death. There's a chest, and you will get 105% of the cost of the item's value in the Grand Exchange at that time. So that's awesome, because this, this, this actually encourages an item sink. And not just a money sink. Because, like, realistically, if you're going to play this game and you're going to die, it would make more sense for you, instead of putting 10 mil into the coffer, it would make more sense for you to go grab, like, a staff of light and chuck it in there. Because you're going to get more for your value or whatever item's 10 mil. You know, you might as well put an item in there instead of cash. Because if you just put cash in there, you're losing out on an extra 5%, right? And if it's 5% of 10 mil, big brain re, what's that? Five hundred k. Five. Huh? What do you mean? Five. Oh, one five hundred k. Right. Five hundred k. There we go. So you're missing out on five hundred k, and that's like an entire death from ten mil. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's gonna be a good like out sync pretty much. Yeah. One item, stuff like that. And it, it, it breaks you really considering these newbie players who die a lot. I, yeah. I, I like. It, I mean, man. if you put if you if you put a hundred mil into this chest. For whatever yeah. reason, if you put a hundred mil, burn through that. Oh my if God. you die in left, right, and center, you put a hundred mil in that chest. Well, guess what? If you do it in items, you get an extra five mil. And do you know how much five mil is in deaths if you're losing five hundred k per time? Ten free deaths. Yeah, Ten I mean, free deaths. It's gonna be very unlikely you will need to go to death to get your stuff. Because if, if you're chucking big, a you know? hundred mil in a coffer, then you definitely got that money from a website. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no way you earned it. You're chucking that much in there. That's insane. True. Yeah, I don't. I don't. And I don't even know if like it's just a storage thing to balance off the the cost. Yeah. I don't know if they explained that, or it, is it like one time for one. I don't know. 
but I'll keep reading. However, death only accepts good stuff. Each individual items you place in the coffer must be worth at least 10k or reject it and you just can't deposit it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we might reduce the threshold in future updates. I think that'd be nice. So you could just get rid of like your bulk rubbish that you got. Imagine yeah. if you could just get rid of like the shit that you've got in your bank, you know? Yeah, yeah. like if I die, I want to like fucking trade my bass. Yeah, like what? Well, what if you ten bill bank? Last time I checked, I'm I know, sure. but I have some bullshit <laughs> stuff that I don't want to drop. Uh, there's <laughs> some to use it in a meaningful way. You know? There's Ultimate Iron Man's. So I, I say we skip over that one and just go to special. Yeah, death same, situations. Then nothing happens to them. Really. Nothing happened to them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So some parts of the game have had a custom rule for death since they were released. Examples include the Torfin retrieving items at Vorkath. Yeah, we went over this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or those petrified. Yeah, those petrified. Are... Petrified pete uh retrieving items from the volcano mine never been there and the priestess mm -hmm. retrieving items from zora so yeah basically like um like we said with zora basically uh it will be free and it won't cost you anything you can just get your stuff back but once you surpass 50 kc you then have to pay 100k per death which is i pers i personally think the day that vorkaf came out and it had the 100k fee they should have updated zora but it's yep. okay it, it's done yeah, now right. which is better than nothing so, this yep. this next part by the way if you guys haven't seen what's going on with all the movements and uh, you know uh, racial things going on right now runescape dropped sixty thousand dollars some really cool charities and they're finally starting to take matters into their own hands about the toxicity on runescape which in my opinion is way fucking too late but at least they're doing something. I think they're only doing something because of the movement, but I, you know, still. Oh man, so, they're, they're doing something. That's the something. Main point. The only thing that annoys me, um, I linked this tweet actually. I'm just gonna link this tweet right now. Uh, sick nerd, really cool guy, dent in his forehead. Um, post some toxic people talking shit, right? Right. Just I don't know if you want to go over that because it's got some words in there. Uh, and then RuneScape replies to that post saying the filters haven't been added yet, whatever, we, we should, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're actually responding to this toxicity. You know how many people have been hit with this toxicity for more than just fucking, you know, what, it annoys me that it's been going on for so long and they're just now doing something about it. I literally have racist people who had followed me on Snapchat with the swastika, right? I've had people after me for four or five years saying horrible horrible shit demeaning shit and they have not given me the time of day and this man gets called a shit pker in lms and he gets a fucking reply from runescape yeah it's a bit of you know there's some favoritism some favoritism there's that. that's <laughs> fucked dude i they know do not treat anyone equally i've been reporting people like crazy and no one's been getting banned dude this is fuck it's so salty dude oh my god <clears throat> so I just wanted to bring up that they're actually starting to uh, fight toxicity, but it's it looks like it's just favoritism. But they're going to be adding some chat filters, though. Like, regardless of that, I know there's favoritism, but like at least they're actually doing something, right? It's like it may be very overdue, and you're right. Like, I would the, the be DMing Archie saying, hey, these guys will not leave me alone. It's been three months. They've been saying fucking horrible shit on me, ruining my streams. And then they would DM uh, the people talking shit to me. Be like, "Oh, you're reporting to Archie? How the fuck did they know? Right? This this is some fucked shit, though, dude. Like, I'm so I'm a little emotional on this, but understandable, bro. The, the amount of shit I've been getting for like the past six years, and they have not helped me once. Even I've met these people at conventions, and they treated me differently. Nothing." And then, you know, Signer gets talk shit on LMS and he gets a fucking reply, yeah. probably a DM. Has probably like a social banned. media, like Twitter media, you know, clout. So dude, it's hard. I, 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 I don't know, dude. I'll be salty for the rest of my life that they made me deal with that shit on my own for four years. Yeah. So fucking. Yeah, you have right to complain, bro. Dude, you know, why, why don't you like tweet about it, man? Why don't you put a tweet, tweet about? I DM these people. No, I no, I mean like a tweet about what you're talking about right now. I, I did tweet. I tweeted below it. No, make make yeah, your, make just, your yeah. own tweet, like subtweet in it, and just get like do, get your community just to like push that shit up there, man. And then I'll like that shit.
you know. I don't know, man. Yeah, that's the only like that helps more sometimes if they can you can't imagine get it. making 800 videos on RuneScape streaming for 10, 12 hours a day on like your favorite game and they don't even send you a shirt? <sighs> they don't even fucking DM you. They don't help you with okay, shit. No shout outs. No it's fucking it's off, support at all. Like it's you don't even exist. That's my life right now with RuneScape. Huh. And I just don't think it's going to get better. I think it's probably going to get worse me talking about it, really. Mate, I don't man. think they like me at all, man. Right. Dave, dude, a, dude yeah. I'll give you some personal personal insight real quick, man. So, like, I can talk to you about, like, the shout-outs, for example. Um, dude, I, I fucking hosted one of their demo mode tournaments when there was God knows how many thousands of people watching. Uh, I think I probably gained maybe 10 followers from that entire thing. Like, nothing every shout out i've ever had it's never done anything like they literally it's it's just so uh like there's nothing that comes from it like the traffic is minuscule you know like, yeah it's more like just like feeling part of the community i don't want clout i just want to feel like i'm a part of it like every time i go to a convention they always eat out right they always go to korean barbecue they don't invite me they just hang out every like zulu and stuff dude like I swear to God, I'm like an outsider in this community. Yeah, well, it was like shit. Dude. Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, you know, I always try to hang out with my viewers, so we do our own shit. But fuck, dude, you don't even get invited. Like, bro, yeah. like they barely let me go into that TwitchCon after party that one time because uh, I talked out about the toxicity on the Q and A. That's what I tweeted. The uh, first TwitchCon ever. Yeah, bro. You had a had yeah, a Q and A. And um, I, I got up the courage and I, I went up in front of everybody and said, hey, what are you going to do about this, this toxic stuff going on the wild? It's very <laughs> polite. It's like, what are you going to do? Yeah. This is horrible. I've been getting abused for the last five months. I, I went up, you know, it was live, a QA. and a I, I talked out what I said. And they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll get into it. This is four years ago. All right. Yeah. After we were at the cabana and they're like, why were you so harsh? Why were you, why were you like that? And then they didn't even give me a ticket. They were inviting everybody else to the after party. A geezer, 30 minutes later after I said, I'll probably just leave if I don't get invited because there's nothing for me to do on this last day. He's like, he felt bad. He like gave me a petty fucking wristband for the party. Can you imagine a petty invitation? This is supposed to be an invitation to a RuneScape party wherever, if you just know about it. I'm a content creator, dude. I don't even feel like one. This is... Ugh. Dude, the biggest piece of advice I can give you is literally make something addressing this entire thing like you could literally it obviously means a lot to you you've spoken about it a few times now if i was in your yeah. position i would make a video i would talk into the camera like you are right now and just talk your mind just speak the truth dude and say what you've got to say i i think that's the only way man like that's the oh, only way because the the, the almost yeah. truth is mate is um the more that you say it yeah, and the less that you officially say it, like, if they ever watch this, they're just gonna be like, well, why hasn't he said anything? You know? I was there in the Q&A talking to him, dude. I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but, like, I've stated this publicly. Uh, I've stated dude, it on my stream. Yeah, I've talked sure. to them on DMs. I've talked to them in real life. Um, they know I exist. They just don't want to, like, do yeah. I really want to exist in their eyes because I complain on social media or something? Like, is that how I want to... I don't know, dude. I mean, I see your point, but it's it's just six years, dude. You'd think they'd fucking anything. Yeah, you just want to be acknowledged, right? Is that what it is? Just something, bro. Like, one invite to Korean barbecue would make my life. Isn't yeah, I, man, I'm not Isn't gonna, I'm not gonna bad? try to, bro, I'm worry, not man. gonna we'll, dumb that down, dude. Like Korean barbecue never. is the fucking shit, dude. dude it, is, <laughs> it is great. No, yo, sorry. Wait, when you get invited to your to your next Jaggers event, just like yo, pull men through, you know, from a uh, fucking. God, I feel home. like that third wheel kid, though, dude. I feel like I, I deserve more than that. Man. You got to start somewhere, though. You know, I shall. Right, <laughs> lads. Whatever. Uh, uh, you any final words for the podcast or should I just end it? Um, Yo, please like the video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, actually, I'm not. Yeah, there's not too much else other than they're, uh, they're going to yeah, be banned. Probably, yeah. Not banned, but just filtering out toxic racist people. Um, and then it looks like the new agility mini games getting updated. <laughs> I've never Which, done it though. So yeah, that, 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 nobody did that after the first day of release. Well, I'm still doing it. <laughs> I'm you know, it's, the best I know. Of being, it's the best of being the game, and you have to actually put in effort. You don't run in a circle, okay?
I so, know. I, dude, I so know. I, I see you doing it. Y'all need to know. Best agility XP in the game. Ain't nobody and, did that after day one, apart from Ree. <laughs> yeah, I need the Ring of Endurance, bro. Well, you I still had a dream I got it? one. I don't know why. Ah, it's one in, in 200 on the final, final chest, dude. It's, it takes a while, bro. I still know? remember when you went for that Moss Giant grind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that as well. Dude, I should have told you that Moss Giant keys are more common in the wild. So you well, could have probably... Are. No, now they are. Oh, was that, was that a newer update? Oh, yeah, I don't know. they weren't before, so I, oh, okay. I, I <laughs> slaved 90k of those bitches. I, I killed uh, incarnation, bro. That's insane. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, boys. All right. 500 likes podcast next week. We love you. Oh, amp it up to at least yeah can we do more than last time we got 319 since yeah let's saying. let's let's at least try to get 400 400, 400. Right. 420 blazes for all the weed blazers out there you better mm. freaking get there so those 80 honor. Honor. the 80 of you that watched the last video and thought uh someone else will like the video they don't need my like well we need you okay we need you this time i need you click the like button like do the right thing please